Hello everybody, I'm Monica and I will be presenting the solution of, type, of uh, task K. So we have given a string of nested quotes. So in this example I will be denoting it by X. And the question is to find uh, the largest uh, possible nesting of such a quote in the given string. So to be more precise I have to decide what is the nesting of the quotations. So we one quotation is basically a string uh, between two quotes which doesn't contain any quotations. So for example, such a string would be a one quotation, also um, em with, uh, empty uh, string or uh, space between quotes is a one quotation. For k quotation, uh, we define it as follows. So k quotation starts with k quotes, which without space in between, they, the, it ends with another k quotes and in between we have one or more k minus one quotations which can be separated by a space or uh, they may not be separated uh, by a space um, and the solution for this task looks as follows so first of all uh, if we have a uh, odd number of quotes then uh, obviously we have no solution because always the quotes are paired so only for even a number of quotes um, we may have some nesting. Then um, what we basically do is that we go uh, from the biggest quotation, so in this particular case it's from 100, and we are going to check the, screen, the string whether it's uh, the k quotation. So the checking will look as follows. So if our given string is a k quotation, it has to just start with k quotes and it has to end with k quotes. And then here we might have a space or there might not be a space and then what is in between has to be at least one k minus one quotation and then from the definition the k minus one quotation again has to start with k minus uh, one quotes and it has to end by k minus one quotes and then the same way then here we have to have k minus two quotes k minus three quotes and so on and then there will be one quote here and one quote here and then possibly some quotes in between so what I just said was uh, uh, a necessary condition, how the quotation uh, may look like. And then um, also I'll show that this is a sufficient quotation, because no matter whether, for example, this k minus quotation may have some uh, the ending somewhere here, it's pair. We can always take the this k minus 1 as its pair, so we can pair it this k by this k, k minus 1 with k minus 2, k minus 2 with k minus 2 and so on, these two again together. And then what we get here, uh, we can always uh, take the two uh, consecutive quotes and uh, this will always form a one quotation because by definition also such strings and such strings are allowed. So basically we just go from k equal to 100 up to 2 and we are just testing. And the last case is if k is equal 1. And then there are only two possible uh, one quotations. They look like this and this. So this would be the input uh, in the problem set. No other um, inputs are uh, eligible uh, K, uh, one quotations, like uh, hundreds of ones would not be allowed because uh, in the string there may not be uh, other uh, quota uh, quotation marks. So that was roughly it. Uh, some teams were actually solving this task by dynamic programming and there exists also another very tricky but nice solution uh, which uses regular expressions and for this uh, we basically what we can do is that we uh, rewrite the input string as a such string and then uh, uh, for each of the quotations we just uh, uh, describe it as a regular expression and then we use the um, the, the, the engine for uh, regular expressions in uh, the language and that should be sufficient and uh, uh, should pass the, the time limits actually. So thank you very much.